So for this question, we're being asked to find the super elevation of the roadway at station 363 and 370. So we're going to take a look at this design plan. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see some more details. So we do have our curve table, and this is a spiraled curve. So the first component is the first spiral, and then on the right side here, we do have the simple curve part. And then because this curve is actually split onto two sheets, the same spiral curve information will apply because it's symmetric to the second half of the curve. So here's the part on the first portion of the page. We are given the information the TS station is 361 plus 99.55. The SC station is 366 plus 19.55. And we do see that the distance of the or the length of that spiral there is 420 feet. The CS station is 377 plus 48.83. And finally, the ST station is 381 plus 68.83. Now these last two, the CS and the ST, are on the second page. So here's our, our match line that we'd actually have to match these up because again, they do stretch across two sheets of the design. So to answer the question, I think it always helps us if we put all of our information into this diagram looking at the gradient of the roadway. So we see the cross section at the bottom here, and then we see the profile from this top portion. We are dealing with a spiraled curve, so we do see TS, SC, CS, and ST. And we saw those points from the design file, so I'm placing those here. Some of the other information we have, we've got our spiral length of 420 feet, and it is symmetric, so we'd see that 420 feet on the other side as well. And we, were, we can see on the given information, we do have the design super elevation of 7%. Because we have our length of spiral of 420 feet, we know that from changing from our point of adverse crown removed over to our design super elevation, we're going to go from 0% in the outside edge of pavement to 7%. So every 60 feet will change 1% in our super elevation rate. So the first point was station 363. And that's 100.45 feet from the adverse crown removed. So the cross slope is not equal on the outside and inside edge of pavement. So these points are going to be at different super elevation rates. The inside slope is pretty simple for this. We're still just at 2%. It doesn't change on that inside edge of pavement. So that's a simple one. The outside edge of pavement does change, though. And so we are 100 feet from adverse crown removed, so headed this direction. Every 60 feet, we change 1%. So over 100.45 feet, we're going to reach a cross slope of 1.67%. So on our diagram here, we would see that at this point, we're at 1.67%. And on our inside edge of pavement, we're at 2% for our slope. We can multiply those by the distance or the lane width if we want to determine the actual elevation, but the slopes of those points are 1.67 and 2%. We were also asked for station 370. And this is a little more simple because we know our SC point is 366, our CS point is 377, so we're somewhere in between those. We have a consistent cross slope across this whole section, so it doesn't change in that section. So we have a cross slope of 7% at station 370.